We're going to look at this uh, example here. Uh, it's just a star going from right to left, so on our output section here. I'm going to hold down the right arrow key, and you can see that that star is growing, and then there's like a halo around it that is shrinking as I hold the right key. And as we pass to the bottom right, that star reduces size and starts in the top left corner. Kind of looks like it's going through that light. Now, it also turns out that if I just hold down any key, the halo shrinks and grows. Okay, so those are important. Um, let's go back, let's jump into the coding here and see what they've given us. So on my canvas, I got a whole lot of nothing. I push my arrow key, nothing is happening here. So I'm going to take a look and have my, my definition on key, hold key. So this is where I'm going to put most of my code. Um, and they've even given us a couple hints and they put them in paragraphs, which kind of gives us a hint on probably how many little chunks or blocks of code we want to add to this. These are given the background, um, a polygon. This is an interesting variable. Halo is growing is equal to true. Uh, it's assigned the value of true. So in other words, we have a Boolean value known as halo is growing. So it's a custom property uh, for our, our little halo, uh, which is essentially the circle that we've named halo. Um, and we also have a function called star, which is what something we're going to use here. So check to see if this halo is growing. So our very first thing we want to do is we're going to check to see if a halo is growing. We probably want some kind of conditional statement. Something like if, and then we have that halo is growing custom property. Um, if halo is growing, and to check for a Boolean, we're saying is it equal to. So equal to in Python is two equal sign is true. So if halo is, is growing is true, we want something to happen. What we want to happen, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and then there might be an else statement, it might be another if statement. This is probably what we're going to start with. Um, and they've kind of told check the halo growing and add or subtract accordingly from its size. Okay, well the halo is this circle here, okay? And it looks like the radius of it is 30. So if the halo is growing, I probably want the halo radius, uh, radius um, to increase. How much do I want it to increase by? I don't know. Maybe something like two. Um, we'll start with that. If the radius is bigger than 50 or smaller than 20, change halo is growing. Oh, okay. So let's intuitively think about this concept here. If the radius is bigger than 50 or smaller than 20, we want something to happen. So if we go back to that solution, um, if I control, here we go, my current radius is 50 or maybe 48 on the star. I got two objects here, so it's kind of hard to tell. Let me, there we go, make them a little more distinct. There we go. So my radius is probably 66 on the star right here. So my halo, which is what I'm trying to focus on, is 34. So if I, oops, if I kind of move that, there you go, halo is 29, getting up to 41, 47, 49, 50, ah, and it goes back down. So I was following that radius there. Um, okay, so we have another conditional statement. If halo.radius is, um, uh, they've told us here, is bigger than, well, that's our greater than symbol, is greater than 50, um, then we want um, change halo is growing. Okay, so right now halo is growing. Okay, that's uh, what our true statement of this. So if it gets bigger than 50, then we probably want it to stop growing. Um, so we don't want, we no longer want this Boolean variable to be true. So we're gonna change that. If halo radius is um, greater than 50, then we want halo dot is growing um, to be assigned false, okay? And then, or smaller than 20, okay? We are probably gonna use not an else, but another if statement here. Oops, there you go. And if halo um, radius is less than 20, we go. we're going to change this variable, which I can just kind of copy, paste, and manipulate to true. OK. So if we take a look at my canvas, as I run, do I get anything here? I can get my halo kind of growing there. In fact, if you notice, it only grew very little. I'm going to run it again. It grew and then stopped. Well, let's me read through my code. If halo is growing is true, which is what it is when we start, halo radius increases. Okay. 
Um, once it gets to 50, which I think it currently is, can I hit my control? Hey, there it is. My opacity radius, ooh, actually got to 52, that's even bigger. Um, radius is greater than 50, um, it changes it to false. And I don't have an action happening when something is false. So I probably want to have something else happening here. Maybe an if statement for when it is false. So I could write something like this if um, exact same code if halo going is equal to false. Let's have this thing change. Go down by two. Oops. Let's run that code and see what happens to my halo on the top right. Hey, it's changing up and down, up and down. Now, I don't know how fast they want it to go. I don't know if it needed to be 5, 10, 1, 0. 0.5. Well, that's something we got to figure out there. Um, and finally, um, we have this conditional statement. Okay, so these two look pretty good. The last thing we need is we need, if we look at our solution, we need this star to move when I'm holding right, and I need a halo to grow up and down, which it already is. In my canvas, my halo is growing up and down. But the circle has to move with the, um, uh, with the star. That's a key here, right? So we have our star. So we also have these other properties here they've told us about is halo.centerx is equal to star.centerx and halo.centery is equal to star.centery. So we want to manipulate the right key. So we have a final if statement here. It says, if right is held, increase center x and center y and rotate angle by 5. Oh, and the radius by 1. Also wrap around from bottom right to top left corner. So its location is going to be important. Um, so we have our if statement here. If right, and then in keys. If right in keys is being pushed, then we want the... And this here, they, they're assigning the halo, the star value. So I actually really only need to manipulate my star. So my star dot center x is going to increase by, I believe they told me five here. Um, okay, let's try running that. Let's do one step at a time. There we go. You can't see it, but my star is moving across the screen. Now I've gone out of the screen, so I haven't actually set that piece up there. Um, if writing keys being held. Now I probably want to put another if statement in here. If the star dot um, center x is greater than, let's say, 400, well, I want to put that star back at the beginning. If we remember, that would be back here at 0. So we'll say star dot center x will assign it the value of 0. Let's run this now. Here we go. OK, my star is moving. Hey, and it comes back. Great, so we got that wrap around. Now there's a couple other pieces I have to make. Um, I need my star, the radius to increase. I need the rotate angle to change, and those are all little properties that we can manipulate using a, a similar strategy here. But hopefully that kind of gets you started. And you might have to change some of these values in here, but this is a good way to start the rotating star um, question.